Hello friends, neighbors, John your neighbor here. Welcome back down the nook and welcome to a pretty awesome flight of Irish pot still whiskey. This comes to me from Sean, Dark Cloud Whiskey Online. Sean, you are the best. And I thought I would share it before St. Patrick's Day in case anything here is uh, sounds good to you and you want to get a bottle to celebrate. This uh, is from, it's, it's most of the range from uh, the uh, Spot Whiskies. That's from the Mitchell family. They bottle, independent bottle and age whiskies. Have been doing it forever. Great story online. Uh, and I'm going to look at, I believe I have the yellow spot here, which is 12 year old. Uh, then a 15 year old, the red spot. Then we're going to go younger but stronger. We've got a, a seven year old blue spot and then a special anniversary nine year old. So um, these are our higher, higher proofs. Both of these are 46. I'll give you more details when you come back, but if you have any of the spot whiskeys, why don't you pour something? And if you don't, if you have any Irish pot still, that'd be great. See you in a minute. Three, four. It was a bit of a mouthful. Uh, thanks for coming back. As I said, Sean, you are the best. And I'm sure I'll enjoy this flight deeper into the evening tonight. But I want to share just some first thoughts as I go through these in case you're considering a pot still and one of the pot, uh, spot whiskeys. So we'll start with Yellow Spot. Definitely one of my favorites. Haven't had it in a little while. It's got uh, bourbon, sherry, these are casks, X bourbon, X sherry, and um, Spanish Malaga, Malaga, not sure how to say it, uh, wine, uh, influence across this. And as I said, 46% nose and taste, such a good rich fruit, uh, for me, definitely uh, cut apples, but not sharp, just nice, fully ripe, um, almost golden delicious, but more still a red apple, but just just like that mouth watering, you can smell it in the air, just off the skin and you want to take a bite. Absolutely. Let's try it on the palate. Sláinte. And the palate brings out some more malt characteristics and a little bit more spicing. It's not too hot. I don't get a lot of pepper, but I do get a little bit of cinnamon or nutmeg, maybe more nutmeg. So some nutmeg in with the fruit. Um, and now with the malting, you know, for me, sometimes I say that that's a crust or a cake or, you know, something like that, that gives you that creamier malty note and maybe a light bit of chocolate. Uh, Yellow Spot has often been a favorite of mine and uh, certainly can't go wrong. Well, let's look at the slightly older Red Spot, still 46%, still pot, still uh, Irish whiskey. Well, maybe I should say that in case you're just tuning in. Pot still Irish whiskey is is unique to Ireland in that it has a portion of malted and unmalted barley. And I think uh, if you've had a, a little bit of it, you'd start to recognize some of that characteristic. I often think of it as a bit nutty and some and certain spices come forward, but uh, a pot still has that both malted and unmalted barley. Historically, the unmalted part helped avoid the taxes, uh, which may be why, well, I think it is why they added it into the mix. Red spot. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, it's a little darker. Yeah, the yellow spot is a little brighter. Now I'm getting almost a, like, a, like I said, like a yellow apple. Whereas this is maybe more sherry influence. Oh, I don't know if it, did I see the casking. It also has bourbon and sherry, but it has a different wine. Um, not a big wine person, Marsala. Yep. Yeah, definitely more, I would just say more red fruits. Let's try it on the palate. Sláinte. Certainly. Um, a little more spicing. I'm going to say a little more peppering. But I'm also going to say, I don't know, I don't really know um, that Marsala wine well. But I would say, if I didn't know that, I would say more sherry influence. Uh, a light bit of um, age on that. So maybe on the finish, like a bit of leathering. Uh, certainly more darker fruits, red fruits, whereas the yellow was was brighter, um, an orchard fruit type. This is more almost almost berry type fruiting. 
Quite good though, a little more drying as well, just on the finish. All right, let's try the younger but stronger uh, blue spot. It, uh, it also has bourbon and sherry, uh, and it also has another wine that begins with an M. I'll, I'll think of it in a minute, but it's not the Spanish Malaga, and it's not the uh, Marsala, it's is it Madeira. I'll look it up. I'm getting more vanillas, more... Um, A little, a little more tart. It's not quite lemon, but the, the fruiting is a little bit more tart than either of these. Not as sweet rounded, not as dark kind of, you know, berry. It's something else. But I would also say I'm getting a little more sweet vanilla on it. Let's try it on the palate. Oh, this is 58%-ish. So it's a, a cast strength release and it's younger. Sancha. Okay, this one I would put a little bit of water on um, or take a smaller sip. That was a significant influence on my palate. Uh, it, because of the alcohol, I'm not sure, but it, it's drier, it's oakier, it's nuttier. Um, I'm not getting a specific nut. It's not like a sweet nut like almond. It's, it's almost a bitter nut, like a walnut, maybe something like that. So I'm getting a lot more cask and a lot more walnut. And the fruit profile stays like a little bit sour, kind of lemon or underripe. It's pretty good. It's pretty strong. And I think it needs a little bit of water to maybe open up. I should try it with that. Last sample up here from the uh, Spot whiskies, which are all pot still Irish whiskies, is the gold. And I think this is a, a, an anniversary edition. Yeah, it's a limited edition. It's nine years old. It's also quite strong. Instead of 58, yeah, well, 58.9, uh, it's 51.4. So it's still um, cask or near cask strength versus the 46 down here. It's also got bourbon and sherry, but it, it has um, some wine cask, some Bordeaux wine, and some port um, cask influence as well. So we'll see how that comes together. This is the gold spot whiskey. Nose and taste. Oh, interesting. I was thinking uh, the seven-year-old was kind of more souring, that kind of thing. This is continued. It's even further down that line. It's almost a pine nose. Yep, I would say that. It's got a little bit of uh, pine influence. Grass, lemongrass. And then if I stay at it, it's got a little more malt character, a little more honey. Better try this one on the palate. Let's launch it again. Quite a bit more peppering um, and savory spice. So um, here I was nutmeg maybe, here I'm more clove, pepper. Fairly drying on the back end. I got a little bit of chocolates on the end. Wonder if that's the port. That's a bold whiskey. It's interesting to me which way this flight has gone. I tend to be drawn toward cast strength whiskeys. It's, uh, I guess, a personal bias. I, I appreciate them. Yeah, you can add a bit of splash of water to get it where you want. You take small sips and it just vaporizes so well in your palate. I do tend to be drawn toward them. In this case, both of these um, the could be a, certainly could be a personal bias. It feels like underripe fruits. Um, they had a note of green bananas, and I didn't get it with the with the, the blue, but I, with the gold, I would say yeah. You know when you're cracking open a green banana and you and you have a couple of bites and you get that I don't know what that is that feeling of of slight underripe, and that's cool. But it, one of the things that draws me into the uh, spot whiskeys is their wonderful fruit notes. Um, I associate it, associate it with their wine casks. 
uh, like the Malaga or uh, Malaga Spanish on the 12. And I, I got it here on the Marsala, although that feels a lot more like sherry. I These are beautiful, and I know they're expensive. Uh, of them up here, I still kind of like where I started. I, I like the 12 year old. There's something so well balanced about it that just, it just sings to me. That said, these are all excellent and unique. If you like um, a, a more, you know, lemon, slight pine or grass, and, and you know what that would taste like in a whiskey, these are fantastic. They're just, for where I'm at right now, not as good for me as the red or the yellow. I would take either of these over these cast drinks, which is interesting. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for staying with me through the whole lineup. It's been fun for me and I, it looks like I'm gonna have a pretty fun evening tonight. Um, I hope you guys have you know, something headed into St. Patrick's Day and if not, any one of these are excellent if they align with your taste profile. Thanks for joining me. You guys take care.